Good day, Divergence Traders. It's Jason Sweezy here, the Divergence Trader. Um, today is Friday, August 25th, and the markets sure were a rough ride today. Holy jeez Louise. So let's get into it, huh? Okay. Now, you look up here and you go, oh, what is that? What is that crazy thing? <laughs> and look at it, it's still pushing down. I have a funny feeling we're going to go down at least another 200. Maybe 300, maybe 500. I don't know. But it sure is one big sell-off from two days ago. Unbelievable. But anyway, let's, let's look for the trade setups, okay? I'm bringing this up like this to show you for a sec. But first, let me draw the line. So, I guess we could draw it from here as well. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's from this line right here. It's from right here. So, we have a high. A retracement and a higher high see that I know it's hard to see it but that's what it is and then from this to here now let me just expand the chart to show you that this was divergent and we would have got short right here okay stop was huge 141 points but you know what I think we got it oh no oh yeah 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 it just hit it <laughs> 146 points that was a beautiful trade wasn't it ladies and gentlemen anyway okay that's that trade on the Nasdaq Let's, let's look at the one minute for a sec just to see what, what do we see here. See, we have a, a quick dump back up, back down. They went after the stops. Who was ever long in here? Their stops were right in here, and they went after them right here, and they took them out. And then people who were selling in here, their stops were right here, okay? And what did they do? They took it all the way back up like, holy shit, man. They took it back up 167 points to get your stop. Then what did they do? Then they took the motherfucker all the way down here and it's still pushing lower. See that shit? It's a crazy day, man. Crazy, crazy day. What did, the, what did that guy say today at 10 o'clock to do this? You know what I mean? But anyway... That's what happened with that. I still expect it to push lower if we look at the daily. Okay. We had the rally up two days ago. And then look at this huge engulfing candle that closed way lower than the low of yesterday, of uh, Wednesday. Look at this. And we're, we're continuing down now. See that? I think we're going to go through these lows today. I think doesn't mean it will. It looks that way, but doesn't mean it will. It could bounce back up now. Who knows? These bastards could buy it right here. Wherever they see like a floor, they buy They buy there. That's what they do. Um, you know, so we'll have to wait and see what the end of the day entails. But, uh, yeah. It's looking, it's looking like they're going to dump it more because they want to severely hurt traders. Believe me, there's a lot of traders buying in between, in between here, and they just got screwed because their stops would be here or here, and they, and they took out your stops all the way down. They took them out. They took them out. Okay, let's move on here now to the Dow. Dow Jones. 
We have a trade here too, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let me show you. So I just want to point out that when you look for divergence, you always look on the chart first, then you look on the OSMA second. Okay, so we had a high. Uh, yeah, so we had a high and we had a retracement and then we had higher high. Okay, then from here, see these little blue, blue dude. Oh, you did that. Why you do that to me? See these little blue doodahs? Okay, you little son of a bee. So, oh, no, no, it's from here, right? Anyway, it's close enough, like... I don't know which one I draw this to. Let me let me line this up here. Okay. See? This one, this one, same thing, just a little different. It's still divergent, ladies and gentlemen. And this one lines up. Ah, see, it lines up with this one. It's hard to see, you know, because of the way it is here. Anyway. There's the divergence, okay? So you would have got short if you were to, able to withstand this craziness. The short, the, the short signal, <laughs> the short signal was right here, okay? But it got short right here. Stop would have been 140 points, and it went down 195, okay? Okay. Now let's look at the S and the P. It's the same trade, ladies and gentlemen. Same trade. Okay, right in here we have a, a high, a retracement. And we had a higher high here, but it, they would have come and got your stop. Let's see if we did that. So if we if we went like this. And drew it from here to here. And say we got short in here. Guess what? Your stop would have been here. You, your stop would have got taken out. Okay? So let's say you did it again. So you lost on that one. Say, I, I wouldn't sell it right. I wouldn't sell it right here because it's right at this support level right here. And then it shot back up, as you can see. So... That would have been a no trade for me because you, you, you got to wait for it to prove to you that it wants to go down. And right here, it did not prove that. Um, yeah, so it did not prove that. Uh, sorry, I had to take care of something. Um So that wouldn't have been a trade for me to sell right there. So then I would have rallied back up and I would have just lost all my interest in that trade. Let's see. Yeah. So then we would have stretched it out again up to here. Okay. And stretch this over here to here. And uh, well, it looks like looks like they're gonna take it back up. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, um, that's how crazy it is. Yeah, it might just rally right back up. Um, getting confused here. Sorry. So then the 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 entry would have been right here on the opening of this candle. Okay, it's a thirty three point stop. This is the S and the P. And it went down 28. Never would have got your one-to-one, -one, and now it's going back up. Let's take a look at oil. Oh, look at oil. <laughs> no trade. Forget oil. Oh, there's a trade. I'm sure you would have lost on it. So let me just try and draw it in. We had... Yeah. 
You know what? I don't even know. <laughs> I think it's right there. I don't know. It's just freaking... It's just a mess is what it is. Um, see right here? Where it's smacked down and the five crossed down, everything lined, whatever, it was ready to go. But look, right here. See, I wouldn't have sold it there. Not even a retracement. I wouldn't have sold it. And look what they did. They took it up and they got all the stops. For the people who are who believe this candle, look at look, look at this big bearish candle. Look at it, it's gonna go it's gonna go down, it's gonna go down. Look what they did. They were, they bought off of here, took it up, and their stops, they come and got their stops. That was the end of that. That's enough for oil today. Let's look at gold. And gold, there's no divergence up there. There's none. And the pound yen, uh, it's a mess too. Because it's it's got the pound, the pound dollar, and it's got the US the the Japanese yen paired together. Picture it like a like a tug of war. And that's when you see this shit. And that's why I never like to trade pound yen or euro yen but because they move i cover them in this you know in this channel but other than that i don't like to trade them they're they're messed up like it's it's like a tug of war goes one way goes back goes one way goes back goes another way comes back up yeah it's just it's just a lugan say look at this chop chop wick wick just like yesterday on the euro yen is there any trade in the euro yen? Ah, I don't know. We have a high retracement, higher high. Yeah, and it, and it is divergent. So when did it finally cross down and give you the signal? Right here. Didn't go, didn't go fucking nowhere, man. See, if you sold it there, your stop is 16 pips. How far did it go down so far? Nine pips. Okay, let's look at the last instrument of the day okay and it is the pound dollar same thing there's there's really well hold on yeah there's a trade it's it's a very long divergence but it's divergence but it still qualifies so first we look for it on the chart we have a high, we have a retracement. Actually, there's a trade here before the open. Let me show you that one first. Uh, sorry about that. Give me the line. Here we go. Just like that. There it is. Okay. So you would have went short there. Your stop would have been like 10, 11 pips. Went down 22 pips. So you would have got your 2 to 1 or almost. Or... And then we have the longer divergence to sell. Let me show it to you. I'll just use these same lines so it doesn't get confusing. There it is. Just want to show you. See, it's, it's divergent. It's hard to see it when the chart's all the way down here, but it's divergent. So where would have you got short? You would have got short right there. Okay. Stop would have been 41 pips. Went down 65 pips. There's your one-to-one -one win loss ratio. So anyway, uh, if you... Um, if you're still finding it, you know, difficult to, to trade and be profitable, you might want to consider divergence trading. It is a very power. It's a very powerful method that I've been trading 11 years, and I totally believe in it. Um, yeah, so it's up to you. So anyway, I want to uh, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. If you could please be so kind to hit the like button, 
and or subscribe if you haven't done so. So you can come back on Monday and watch some more setups. So I hope you all have a good weekend. Thank you uh, once again and good luck and good trading.